Hello everyone and welcome back to the Maker's Workbench. I'm your host Charles and in this video I'm going to showcase a realistic flickering lantern that I built as part of my ongoing Arduino project series at element14.com. I built this lantern using an Arduino Nano V3, a couple of sections of NeoPixel strips, a push button, and copious amounts of hot glue. The lantern is a simple votive candle lantern that can be found at hobby and home decor shops around the US. The lantern is powered by a 10 foot USB cable which gives it ample length to plug into a simple USB wall adapter near where it's hung. It can also be powered by a USB battery pack and run for several hours on a single charge so keep this in mind when building yours. If you would like to build one of these for yourself, head over to the Arduino project section at element14.com by visiting the link in the description below. As you will see in this video, the lantern has several color palettes that utilize the same flickering pattern as well as a handful of solid colors and an additional color palette that cycles through a range of hues. The final color palette is black, effectively turning the lantern off. Don't let the off pattern fool you though, as the Arduino Nano is still running, which means that the lantern should be unplugged after use. I'm using the FastLED library and utilizing its color palette function to set each of these animations. If you look at the source code, make note of how simple it is to create these varying color palettes. By reading the comments on each line of code, you should be able to easily change the colors to something customized just for you. As I've already mentioned, all of the source code and step-by-step -step instructions on how to build this lantern can be found at the Element 14 link in the description below. You can also find the source code in my GitHub repository for the project and I will also leave a link to that in the description. I would love to see some of you fork the project and make it your own, so if you do tinker with the code, please feel free to create a fork of the project so that I can download and try out your code. Here you can see the final flicker pattern with the varying color hues. This bit of code that makes this happen is a bit more complicated than the other color effects, but I felt that it was a nice option for those who might want something more interesting than just the same color palette repeating itself. The possibilities are endless when it comes to the special animations that you can create using the FastLED library in conjunction with many of the individually addressable LED chipsets on the market today. Finally, if you would like to see more tutorials like this one, please leave me a comment and let me know. That's all for now, thanks for watching, and as always, hack the world and make awesome.